Rebecca has been called to the diary room. Rebecca, Big Brother would like you to express your thoughts on the events that happened last night. God right, it wasn't even me because I never even done nothing or nothing because let me tell you the whole thing right. What happened was Jennifer Clark, who's a complete bitch, has been totally going around saying that I cut up Mohammed Mohammed's belt. But I never did, but only because we all made it together. But anyway right, she did this painting of Stuart Pilkington completely naked and everything because she used to fancy Dale Howard but went off him when Stuart Pilkington came in because she thinks he is well fit. And then Rex Newmark, who's this famous top cookery chef, came along and put like pizza all over it. So Jennifer Clark, who doesn't like Rex anyway because he's a ginger, started crying and threatening to cut herself up. God, she's not even eating. Emo. So anyway, what happened next was this thing, right, where Rex Newmark followed Jennifer Clark into the luxury bedroom and said, like, yeah, I'm really sorry, and I'll make it up to you by making this big, massive cookie, right, because Kat Cassie Soper is so a leather and didn't want it anyway. But then Lisa Appleton, who's going out with Mario Marconi, the one that thinks it looks like Joey from Friends, God, he's not even Italian. She's come in with this completely massive wooden spoon, right, stirring everything up and well slagging off Rex Newmark because she is so jealous of him. Then what happened was Jennifer Clark starts crying again, and Dale Howard comes in, and he still fancies Jennifer Clark, so he's like, cock dick, like dick, like cock, like knob like 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 and Stuart Pilkins there going dickhead 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 right and he goes off to B-Block to tell Rex Newmark to apologise to Jennifer Clark but Rex Newmark's in there with Mohammed 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 who is such a baby and got told off by that Alexandra Gale who's a complete psycho and was chucked out for being a gangster so Rex Newmark went back into the luxury bedroom and there was like everyone crowding around Jennifer Clark and then Stuart Pilkin then was still going dickhead 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 and Dale Howard was going like 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 and then this thing happened right with Dennis McHugh who I think might be a gay because he's so more camp than me and anyway what happened was Mohammed, 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 Mohammed started saying these things about the thing with the thing over the thing and then started shouting at me about everything. I mean, God, I didn't even do nothing. And then Dennis McHugh, right, told him where to go and that and then spat in Mohammed, 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 Mohammed's face and now we think he might be pregnant because Mario Marconi said he can get someone pregnant just by playing finger puppets with them, whatever that is. And Makozi Masambasi from Big Brother 6 only went in the pool with Anthony Hutton from Big Brother 6 and she was like pregnant till she got evicted from Big Brother 6. Then what happened was Big Brother went, Dennis diary room now, right, and he went into the diary room. We're never not seen him again and then next Darnell Swallow comes in like and he's all who supports the spitty face spitty face someone spit in Mohammed's face Mohammed's face right but nothing came out because Dale Howard went over like gave him up a bit until he calmed down and then everything was all right like it's in your business anyway thank you Rebecca you may now leave the diary room. Oh my god, that is well wrong what you just said to me. I was only coming in to do nominations. I'm so gonna report you to Ofcom.